everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you my top five favorite Rubik's cubes. Okay, so coming in at number five is the 11 by 11 Rubik's cube. Um, it's kind of hard to see with this camera angle on. Um, but the only reason it's number five and it's not higher on the list is because it's so big and it just takes so long to solve that. It just mm, didn't make it completely, like, to, like, third place or anything like that. Mm. So far, I haven't solved this yet, but I'm um, planning on solving it really soon. Um, I do have almost all the centers complete. Um, the reason it is on my top list is because it's just so cool to have, and it's just fun to use, and... Well, the only reason it didn't make it is obviously because it takes so long that I just couldn't stand it. It took me so long just to do like two centers because it's so big. Um, yeah, that's basically it for number five. Um, and now let's head on to number four, which is the three by three Rubik's Cube. I know, you're probably all wondering, how, why, why the hell is that not on your number one? You're pro that's probably what you're thinking. The only reason is because, um, it's just not my favorite cube. I'm not good at it. It's, it is fun to do and all, but it's just like, it's not as seems weird that I don't like this. It's just like, it's not like, it is really fun, but it's just like, not as good as some of the other cubes I use, and including some of the ones above it. The other ones that are above this and topless. I mean, usually you would think that I would show you the original Rubik's Cube, but you want to know why I'm not showing you that? This thing is horrible. Look at this. And this thing can cut corners like this. Alright, so let's not get into a review here. Um, um, this is just like, doesn't seem to fit me. Just not my favorite. Okay, so, coming in at number three, the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Um, you're probably thinking, um, why wasn't the 3x3 three higher on this? I think this is funner. Because when you're, like, mixing it up, it's just so easy to do. And it, it's not, like, time-consuming. It's just, like, three seconds or something like that. I'm not very fast at it, but I... Still will be. Then you just keep going. And it is very fun to solve though. And um the reason I picked this is because it's just small. It's easy to carry around. It's just lightweight. And also it's actually fun to kind of show around to people. People walk over and they say, oh, that thing is a, that thing's so easy. And then you give it to them, they're playing it for about, they're playing with it for about an hour, and they haven't solved one side. Um, so that is part of the reason why I like it. And also, it's just so smooth and fun to play with. Um, so coming in at number two. Calvin's Puzzle Dino Cube. The reason I picked this puzzle was because it's, it's just really fun to play around with. It's like cool, it's nice, it looks cool because it's pillowed and a void. Um, it's, it's easy and fun to solve at the same time. It's a great cube to have in your collection. Um, and it's just a really nice turning cube. Sometimes it does click up and stuff, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be on my top ten favorite, not top five favorite cubes. Um, this is a very awesome cube to have. Um, 
this mine door. Um, this is just amazing. I really like to solve it, and this is. Um, hmm. You might be a little surprised at my number one, so I'm gonna get into it. Alright, so are you ready for number one? Coming in at number one is the Sheng Shao Pyraminx. You only. Well, this puzzle is just so fun to solve. It, it also just looks cool, it turns great, it even has a slight corner cut. We just saw that. And it also has this clicking mechanism so that I don't overshoot. If you see that right there, see that like ball? It sli that slides over it and it clicks on. Also, it's not that hard to solve, so it makes it quick and easy. I've solved it in like 10 seconds, no, 20 seconds. You know, that's not very fast. I'm still a pretty decent solver with this. And that is why this is my favorite cube. Next I have um the one the cubes that almost made it but didn't. Um I'm gonna grab these two. There's two of them that didn't make it. First we have the cube for you. 3x3x4. Three by three by this cube is really nice. The only re the only thing is the 11x11 11 11 just beat it. Because the 11x11 11 11 is really kind of fun to play around with and it's big. Not that this isn't big, but this just... It's not as good as some of the other puzzles. It's still really fun. And I, I just started on Cuboid, so... It's really, I can't really base my opinion on them yet. Um, that's why this did not make the list. Because it just doesn't seem as fun to me than the, like, Pyraminx or the 2x2. Two two. It still is very fun, but just not as fun. Okay, so the other one that didn't make it but almost made it was the Mega Minx. Part of the reason this didn't make it was because you can count this as a 3x3 three three in dodecahedron form. I mean, they're the same thing, you just solve it the same way, except the middle layer is these layers, not just these two layers. It's... Hold on. Five, about five layers. I think it's five layers. That is a much bigger than this, but you, you solve in the exact same way. Within like one algorithm or two algorithms, that's it. So you can basically count this as this in dodecahedron form. So you could count this as being number four on my list. Basically, yeah, this is number four on my list, but it's not actually because I didn't show the, the Mega Minx. On. Okay, so this concludes um, my top five cubes, and plus um, cubes that also made it, that also almost made it. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.